Hello, my friends. Uh, today, I wanted to do a different video. I wanted to do an unboxing. And the reason for that is because I got a couple packages, one that I was pretty excited about. It's my first package from Dr. Stephen Chin uh, from Australia. He is, if you take a look at the box he sent here, so this is the second box, but if you think of this box, uh, you can kind of get a guess as to what he's a doctor of. <laughs> Uh, hint, it is not a gynecologist. He is a dentist, I believe, Dr. Stephen Chin. He's known in the puzzling world for doing woodworking. I think he does turning, wood turning. And so I bought not a puzzle from him, but a kind of collector's item of sorts. And so I won't spoil any surprises. I'll let you guys see it as I unbox it. I think it's kind of cool. I hope you do too. trusty razor here and I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and this is from Brisbane I believe nope Barala which I don't know my geography well enough to know where in Australia that is but I will be in Australia later this year I believe in June May or late May or June uh, I'm gonna do a little tour there it's not vacation it's for work but we're gonna probably try to have some fun while I'm there. I mean, you don't fly literally to the other side of the earth and not try to have a little bit of fun, right? All right, so let's open up what we got here. A lot of bubble wrap and packaging. Okay, so here are the stands for what we're about to open. Okay, so these two are connected. Are those supposed to be connected? I guess so, because it, it's like they're connected by a rod or something. I'm not sure if that's on, I'm assuming it's on purpose, but, all right, so anyway, there's the rod there. Okay, so it says here, Dr. Stephen H.S. Chen, BDS, dental surgeon, Barala, New South Wales, this is Australia, and it tells us what we're about to look at. So I'm gonna put that down here for now. Let me make sure you can see that on the... Okay, okay. All right, so here is the actual item. Let me get the rest of this out. Okay, so we also... So we have a bunch of these little rings because these are the actual stands to these... Saw this. I'll look at that and see that is. But anyway, okay, so we have one... And then these two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven little rings. And inside of this, we have a really cool wooden egg. Now, you might say, well, why is this wooden egg so cool? And it has on here, this is reverse tread open. So it's telling me how to open it. Because inside this egg, there's something else. And it, it basically has here a list of all the different woods uh, that he used to make these things. So when you open this by uh, threading, you can see that there's another really cool egg inside. And I, I, I'm pretty sure that most of you know exactly where this is going. But what it is, is it's almost like those Russian nesting dolls. But instead of dolls, these are eggs made of these really cool finished wood pieces. And so the first one's threaded, but I don't think the rest of them are. Oop, yeah, uh-oh. So that might be an issue. Okay, getting that one out. So, but if you look inside here, you can see as you turn them, they have some, some really cool, uh, I guess, markings or texture on the inside, especially the tops and bottoms. And then the outside is nice and polished and finished. And when you put them together, because they're out of one piece of wood, you can see that the wood matches, the, the rings on the wood matches, which is really nice. Shows that they're out of one piece of wood there. And these little stands are so that you can actually put them on the stands to display them, which I fully intend to do. As uh, I did not pay all the money for these. Uh oh, that's one thing that I'm gonna have to now wonder, why is there two different stands like this? I think that that's supposed to go on that one because you can't stick them next to each other. So 
I'll have to ask him why those two stands are connected like that. I'm sure he has some sort of rationale. And then, so there's actually a dozen eggs in this set. So you could get either six or a dozen, and I got the dozen. And for this one, it's a little less. And I'm wondering if I'm doing this correctly. I'm not sure if the woods are supposed to match. The, if the rings are supposed to match the wood, because obviously they don't, these, these don't match. Am I, and I'm wondering if I'm doing it right. Like for instance, did I miss a ring? Because this, no, that wouldn't go there. This looks like it would go on that one, actually. So I'll have to find that out. Anyway, let's keep going. This one would go here. This one would go here. Can you guys see all those? Yeah. So I'm gonna actually back these up so that you can see the smaller ones too. Because then they get, they're getting pretty small as you can see. We're halfway through and we still have a bunch to go. Okay, so this is where I think I'm supposed to use this stand now for these. And I'm, I'm wondering whether this adhesive backing is I'm supposed to put the eggs on there. I don't wanna do that, I'm afraid it'll ruin the egg. It says reverse thread. So this one, now we're on the second six, and so it's a reverse thread again, so you have to screw it to open it up, or unscrew it to open it up. And inside we have oh, the next set, and they're getting really small, which is kind of cool. I'm not gonna completely open it there, but. In there, you can see on the bottoms, they are flattened, and so he makes it to where they will stand up easier, not completely round on the bottoms. But I'm gonna go through the rest of them only because, A, I think as you get tinier, it gets cooler. Just cooler to see how small these eggs are getting. But the last one is super interesting, and I'm gonna show you why. Oh, look at that. All the different woods are really pretty. So this is the last, this is not the last one, but this is the second to the last one. So we'll do the four, five, and then this, the last one, if I can get it open, it's made out of pure gold. <laughs> it's gonna, so this is one of those things where it's like, you have to be careful where you play with this because this little last egg is super teensy. Look at that, look at how that's, that's really cool, right? Uh, well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. It was fun for me to see that it's a piece of art. Really, it's not a puzzle, but it's by somebody who makes puzzles and is in the puzzle community. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next time on the next video. All right, goodbye for now.